morning, friends. Going out to do some errands this morning. Went to Walmart yesterday. Got some groceries. All is well at Walmart. And all is well in Ahihik. First uh, stop today is going to be at the phone company, uh, Telmex. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Part of my telephone bill is my dish network, and it didn't get paid on time. We are a few days later coming home than I anticipated, and the guy that pays my bills uh, and I didn't get it arranged for him to pay them this month. Dish Network, I turned on the TV last night and my Dish Network card is not authorized for these channels, which means the bill didn't get paid. Traffic's not too bad this morning. traffic. <laughs> After spending several months in Senoida, Arizona, where the longest trip across town is about a quarter of a mile to the Dollar General. Uh, and you may or may not see a car on the way. I know this isn't big city traffic, but uh, it's still traffic to me. Oh, lots of new electric bicycles for sale over there. I was thinking yesterday when I went to Walmart, I saw a guy coming back on a three-wheeler, uh, electric three-wheel tricycle, which, as you know, I have an affinity for those things. I was thinking maybe I should get one here because they have a wonderful cyclopista that goes all the way from Chapala to Hokotepec, about uh, 20 kilometers. And uh, I was thinking about it because traffic was a little heavier than this and a guy on a tricycle beat me to the top of the hill back there. Wave to the coffee guy. Anyway, um, I was thinking, you know, he, he's uh, getting across town faster than I am in the van. Uh, and then I got to thinking about it, and I thought, well, you know, I have fun riding my tricycle in Arizona, but around here, I like just uh, going in a vehicle. It's more comfortable. It's not a it's not a cost factor for me, the gas money to go out and do errands and such. So anyway, I'm not gonna get a tricycle here in Mexico. And a bicycle, that's just out of the question. The cobblestone streets with uh, I don't think that'd be pleasant. Yeah, the piece is okay, that's nice and smooth, but coming on a cobblestone street up to the Guerrera in my casa would be literally a pain in the butt. I can't stand bicycle banana seats. Company, I think I'll park back here in the shade. This is how I pay my bill every month. 
you do get a bill at your house, but a guy on a motorcycle throws it under the gate, even if it's raining. Not reliable. There's a room right here with a machine in it where you can pay, but today I'm just going to go on in. My bill is actually around 980 pesos. That's 300 for the phone, 300 pesos for uh, Dish Network, and 400 pesos for my internet from Telmex. I get about 300 megabytes download speed, which is fine for whatever I do. You can get uh, higher speeds. You don't actually need your phone bill to pay, which is good to know because it doesn't always show up. All you have to do is walk up to the window and give them your phone number and they will tell you how much to pay. Next stop is here at the Ahi Clinic to drop off a prescription for Lynn. What is this? to Hokotepec. It's time for us to start the process of renewing our IMSS. IMSS is Mexico's government health insurance, one of their health care systems with big hospitals and lots of clinics and even in small towns. Lynn and I have had that insurance for nearly 20 years. I have actually never used it. I've never even been to a clinic to be assigned a doctor. Lynn, on the other hand, has had many tests and 
procedures and she gets most of her um, meds from IMSS. So over the years, it's been um, a good deal for us. And we're on a narrow street in Hoko, Hokotepec. I've actually, years ago, driven my 33-foot Southwind motorhome through this street. It was uh, harrowing. At one point, a pickup had to back up to let me get through. There is another way through town, um, a little bit better. Not a lot, a little bit better. But uh, I didn't know about that one at the time. Seems to be a lot of motorcycles in Hokotepec. Always lots of motorcycles or motor scooters. Motor Scooter City. Oh crap. The carnival is set up for the fiesta. I can't, get, I can't go where I wanted to go. Okay, watch this guy stop at the stop sign. Oh, oh, well, when in Rome. Well, I'm probably gonna wind up taking a walk to drive to where I need to go. Uh, let's see if I can go up this way. Yeah, I can. I have a guy do this renewal for me. He's done it for me for many, many years. I could do it myself, but it requires a trip up to Guadalajara and a trip to a bank. And any trip to Guadalajara cost me $30 for gas anyway. And he only charges me like, you know, I don't know, $50 each to do the renewal for us and take care of it. And anytime you go and do anything official in Mexico, it's a waiting in line process for the day. So I am quite happy to have someone take care of that for me. Finding a parking place along here is always a problem with the van. He actually has a driveway that uh, you can drive off the street. And I can go in there with my BMW, but I can't get in there with my van, so I have to look for a parking place today. Not driving my BMW because uh, I haven't paid for the insurance. I've got to go and pay for insurance tomorrow in order to get it reinstated. Not going to drive without insurance in Mexico. That could be financially disastrous. Well, that should take care of today's video. One of my next uh, trips out is going to be to go and pay my property taxes in Chapala at City Hall and then go to a different place and pay my uh, yearly tags on my vehicles, three of them the van, the BMW, and my um, Honda ATV. And I have to go and pay the water bill for the year. So come on back. We'll go for another ride soon. <laughs> Thanks for indulging my ramblings today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And 
please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.